what's poppin'? Is you ready for another reaction video? All right, so peep it up. Next, we got the Samsonite or Sam Samson. I yeah, Samson. I think it is, man. Yo, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. This hillbilly, whatever you want to call him, country boy, mullet head. I don't know what you want to call him, bro. But I'm gonna tell you like this. Dude got bars, man. He got bars, and he be talking about and you. I like here's the thing. Everybody like wonders why I react to like all different types of hip hop, bro. Is because hip hop is hip hop, and I don't care if you're good at it. I don't care as long as you're being real and genuine to yourself and talking about stuff you. Because that's what hip hop is. It's about you know. Back when we started in New York, it was us talking about our lives. You know what I'm saying, and things that was around us. So when you do that and you authenticate. It don't matter what your situation is. It could be trailer park. It could be, uh, it could be, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're in Malibu, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter as long as you talk about that in a way that, you know what I'm saying? Just, you just go hard. You got to have the bars and you got to authenticate your situation and make it believable and make it interesting. And I think he, I think this dude checks off the boxes with that. So shout out to Chris, Chris, real talk. My day one of my first ever subscriber put me on to this dude. So shout out to that boy right there. All right, man. So let's get into it. I'm going to tell you like this, man. This dude got bars. I haven't heard a song yet that he didn't smash it. All right. So let's get into it. Shout out to Samson, man. He, he a funny dude. <clears throat> a quick word. That's what it's called. Every night before I go to sleep, oh my God. I speak to the man oh my that God. rules above. He helps get me through these trying times. He guides my way and gets me through. Hold up, hold up. I couldn't even I couldn't even start this, bro. That mullet though. That mullet though. Oh my god, bro. You know what he looked like? No cap. He really do. He looked like, you know what I'm saying? Like his shorty, his girl, will literally be rocking like you know what I'm saying? Some like stonewash pants. You know what I mean? Like up to like right here. And you know what I'm saying? With the tube socks and then with the little uh, hairspray poof right here. It goes like way up. You know what I'm saying? It goes wow. <laughs> That's exactly the type of lady. You know, and I'm hypothetically speaking. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of lady he looked like he'd have. But I think like this is an exaggerated look. They ain't nobody rocking that shit today. Is there for real? Be real with it. Is there? It, it, he's exaggerating this, right? Nobody's really doing that today, are they? Oh, maybe they are. I don't know. Man that rules above. He helps get me through these trying times. He guides my way and gets me through the mud. As a mortal man, I put my life in your hands because I know you'll do everything to steer me straight. And because of that, a lot of people tell me that I'm wrong and they act like they're right, but it's clear they ain't. They smear your name, but I fear your reign. Some folks don't know how much you sacrifice. And when judgment day comes, they're going to be sorry because they're all going to have to pay a massive price. But I won't. He's mixing uh, Christianity into uh, in a rap. Cause I live for you. I'm sorry, but y'all, if this keeps up, I can't finish this. Like I, I, I mess with Christianity in rap, depending on how it is, bro. But if it's like all that, all this, <laughs> it's, it's too much for me. It's too much. I'm sorry. And, and it's nothing against Christianity and it's nothing against God, bro. I just think this, these, I don't know, man. I think there's a time and a place, man. Put that shit, put that shit, on, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit over there in your church or some shit like that. You know what I mean? How many of my peers doubt me? Every breath I take and every step I make is in your name. That'll never change. Dear Fauci, Easter is coming up. Do you? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. See, thank you, thank you, because I thought you was really switching up on me real quick. All right, man, there was a punch to that. I thought you was really going corny with the shit, bro. Real talk, I'm like, bro, like, come on now. You know, like, come on now. Like, you really preaching hard right now. Like, you going, you come a little too hard with the, you know what I mean, the whole religion thing right now. <laughs> he said, dear Fauci, like, because he playing God and shit. That's what's up, let's go. That I could spend it with my loved ones Maybe open up the window, let the wind blow Maybe circulate the air, mix it up some <laughs> No, I was kidding too, it's just a little joke I would never disapprove I already put the chair six feet apart and cut a little hole In my mask big enough to get my spoon through Yup, <laughs> yes my lord Vaccine cards are gonna get checked at the door I don't care if my brother, my father, my mother doesn't have it If they don't, they can go next door Yo, he gonna blow with this shit, bro He gonna blow with this shit 
smoking at my table I don't care if you've already had it There ain't nothing you can tell me This is fatal I ain't buying into the junk that Trump sold you Trump's fucking narrative I'm not gonna help you with your fable <laughs> You fucking bro He said this the, the, the junk that Trump I don't know what the fuck he said But that's just funny Let's go they don't, they can go next door, they're not welcome at my table I don't care if you've already had it, there ain't nothing you can tell me This is fatal, I ain't buying into the junk that Trump sold you Trump's fucking narrative, I'm not gonna help you with your fable I'm trying to keep my Help you with your fable Stable, they don't even have their booster shots They're my family and I love them to death But they're gonna kill me if I let them in, should I do it or not? And my friend keeps trying to convince me that he's fine Cause he's been vaccinated, but it isn't the same He only got two shots, that was six months ago You gotta get free, now the definition has changed Got a point there. You got a point. Because for some reason, uh, I'm not even going to talk about that because they, they won't even let, let and I, I can't even speak on that shit. I can't. Um, let me see if I can speak on it in a way where they won't. Well, actually, I could just say what re really happened. Um, yeah, like real stuff. Um, so I guess, you know, um, if you get two or whatever, if you get sick, they're like, oh, it's because you need a booster. And it's like, but I, it's kind of like, it, it, it is kind of confusing because I, I do don't understand. I really don't understand. Like if it's, if you just recently got it, what is, you know, why do you need so much of it? You know what I'm saying? Is it, are they not giving us enough? To, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's just me being polite right now because what I really want to say is something different, but I can't. Um, so I, I'm, I'm questioning because this is really what happened. Um, and this is really what was said was, oh, you, you need to get a booster. It's probably because you didn't get your booster. And it's like, but I just got my last shot. Not me. I'm talking about somebody else. Um, and no, it's not hearsay. It's my son. Okay. My son. So I know this. Okay. Um, yeah. And, you know, we all, the whole entire house got it. Um, nobody was exempt from it. Uh, there's three people in the house that has their shots and three people that don't. And it was what it was. All right, let's go. Stop bitching because he might need four. Maybe every quarter of the year there might be more. Why would you ask questions at a time like this? I mean, I could loot a Nike store. Always talking about natural immunity. Vitamin C and capsules of glutamine. Water and exercise. Going to the gym and eating healthy. Zinc and potassium. Ooh -wee. He probably loves Joe Rogan. And that's why his views are inept. I mean, fucking immune systems? How stupid is that? I know, right? That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie though. Let's be, I'm gonna be real with you, yo. That shit kicked my ass, man. Like that shit kicked my ass. I don't get sick, but that shit kicked and I don't have the shot. You know what I'm saying? I just personally want more research. That's all. That's all I want is like, I want to see like what the long term is, but I don't, I don't, here's the thing. I don't get a lot of those things. I don't, I'm being real with you. I don't, me personally don't believe in a lot of that stuff. So that's my personal beliefs. I have a right to believe that. And I'm not speaking against it. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. You know, it's just because, you know, I just see that, you know, with everything, there's a side effect. Just just let you know, with a good, there's always a side effect. So I got to see what the side effects are. You know what I'm saying? There's always side effects. I mean, and this is not debated. So let's not go blocking this reaction because I'm saying what's actually true there are side effects with every medicine every medicine you take there's a side effect so i just want to see what the side effects are and you know that's why i just i just chose not to even though you know what i'm saying my kids i if they want to get it they get it you know my son he you know he ended up he ended up getting it um my young my daughter she chose not to so she doesn't have it um yes i'm the parent but at the end of the day I like I said, it, it's way too soon for us to see what side effects are. Nobody knows, and you know, it looks pretty much like it's whatever at this point. 
happen if we ever relied on those? Yeah, exactly, I don't know. What, before 2020? Don't be a dummy, you know that was such a long time ago. This is more than the flu, misfortune and doom. This is apples and oranges, a fork and a spoon. Just two different things that you can't even compare. And if you want to go there, you're a moron if you do. Huh. Idiot, probably doesn't watch the news. He probably does his own research. He's a doctor too, thinks critically and forms an opinion to the best of his advantage. I mean, I can't even talk to you. Have you not seen the SNL skits? <laughs> Rest in hell. <laughs> Piece of shit, don't even go there. I know you've heard the songs with Stephen Colbert. I know you've seen all of those vaccine musicals on the late night shows. How could you not? And if you don't believe those, I don't think that's what Fauci would want. Huh? Nah, fuck the AIDS pandemic. That was way back in the 80s, man. Forget it. I don't care that you got everything wrong back then, too. This is like way damn different. I'm willing to give you a second chance and a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Man, I don't like to get into the technical shit. Just tell me how many more injections to get. Gain of function. That's just Republicans saying some dumb shit. I don't count that. Fuck it. It's not about how many mistakes you make. It's when you make a mistake and how you bounce back from it. And you're real fucking good at that. There's so many things that have come to light. You could probably do something horrible. So it's not like it's a Republican Democrat thing. It's just it's it, it, it's a, it's a system thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't see no difference in either or. I think they're both fucking lost their fucking marbles. And I think both of them don't do jack shit. Republican or Democrat don't do jack shit. Except for themselves. They do a lot for themselves. They definitely do a lot for themselves and their rich friends. Republican and Democrat. And they both have a lot of those. So Let's go. Like kill a dog and nobody would even. Oh, right. I don't mind if you butchered beagles. You can murder my grandma. I wouldn't look at it as evil as long as one of them doesn't do it with their careless actions. Maskless, ruthless people. It's like folks don't believe in you anymore. All the faith and the trust is gone. I don't care that you put hounds six feet deep in the ground. I always root for the underdog. <laughs> All right, I'm that, done fucking around. That was a bar. If you put him six feet in the ground, I always root for the underdog. Get it? Underdog. He's under the ground. Underdog. That's dope. Kennedy is doing the same thing again and again. Oh my god. No, he didn't. You big Paul Bunyan looking motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I he he has to be purposely trying to look this way. There's no fucking way anywhere in America, motherfuckers. <laughs> yo, just, no. No. Cause I see some like straight up like redneck dudes, bro. And they don't do that. Wait a minute. It depends. I'm talking about roughneck rednecks. You know what I'm saying? They cut their shit tight. They look like military type motherfuckers. They all swollen shit. Fucking forearms like fucking this and shit from like throwing fucking hay fucking 30 fucking yards, 40 yards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let's go. Let's go. I, I don't know. I just feel like this is like an exaggerated. But hey, I could be wrong. And I'm over here clowning Sans and this shit. And then motherfucker, I'm like, yo, he an asshole, bro. Why are you clowning me like that? You probably make a diss track about me, bro. Different result. That's not the exact definition of the word. It was Einstein's, but it makes sense, so it holds. Look, if I was your fitness coach and I was giving you routines to get to your goals, but you kept getting fatter and you weren't getting thinner, would you keep paying for me to assist you? No. Or better yet, what if I was your physician and you came to me with a sickness and I'm supposed to fix it and I gave you a bunch of prescriptions and they didn't work over the course of two years? Would you find someone different? I think there's a good chance you would. And if you wouldn't, guess what? It's your choice. And that's the good thing about living in America, at least until now. You had a voice. This has been a pain in the ass for everybody. It's really been a bitch from the start. But how many times you gotta get fucked for you realize they don't have your best interest at heart? All right, man. So that beat went hard. Everything went hard. It was okay. Um, but there was a lot of information. I agree with a lot of what he was saying. But as far as like musically, it was all right. Um, but yo. I fuck with Samson. I like the message. I see what you're doing. Um, I, the message, the message was like, you know what I'm saying? As far as like musically, I mean, but there's different types of, you know, songs. So I, for the track that it was and it, it was meant to be, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it didn't have like a lot of uh, stuff that his other tracks had, but hey, man, people do different types of tracks for different types of reasons. You know what I mean? That being said, if you're new to the channel, click the comment, subscribe, thumbs up, slap that red button. The original link to this video will be in the description below. Go over there, check it out, get them views up. I'll be that boy, Ardis. Peace, I'm out.